How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and the Subi is officially gone and we bought a new vehicle but we didn't stop there. We bought two new vehicles. Let's check them out. So here it is, my 2023 GMC Canyon AT4. And personally, I couldn't be happier. I know I threw a lot of people off when I was saying four cylinder turbo. I was getting, Drew, please don't buy a Mark V Super four cylinder. And trust me, I never would. But this, I don't think anybody was expecting. Now I've been wanting a truck for quite some time. And uh, the reason for that is it's just super practical and I really want to get into off-roading. I have the supercar, I have the JDM, I have the muscle. I don't have a truck. I don't have anything where I could take off-roading. I don't have anything for that, you know, style. I'm trying to play Forza in real life here. I, I, need my, I need one of each car, you know? So this, I think, will just check that box perfectly. This is a four-cylinder turbo. It's the high output version of it. I believe if you get the Colorado Trail Boss, you get the mid output, but this is the high output. Um, I'll throw in the power numbers on screen. And I know you might be thinking, uh, four cylinder turbo on a truck, don't <laughs> underestimate this four cylinder. It is pretty fucking nice. So while shopping for a new vehicle, I was looking at the AT4, the Trail Boss, and the Broncos. And I test drove the V6 Bronco. It was great, felt good, really responsive, real snappy. I also test drove the four cylinder Bronco and we're talking about the full size four door Bronco, not, not the little baby car, full size. The four cylinder was sluggish. It was, it was a little bit more sluggish. This four cylinder feels nothing like that. I think Chevy or GM really knocked it out of the park with this four cylinder. I guess we'll see when we're off roading because we got to do that. This is not going to be a pavement princess, but this four cylinder is responsive. It's quick. I mean, I'm not full throttling it. It's a brand new car. I got to break in the motor. But just driving around town, the, the 60 miles I might have put on it in one day, it is, it is really nice. It, I could just tell this is a very nice motor. The reason why I ultimately went with this truck is I think it's just the best bang for your buck. If you haven't noticed, my channel, I like buying the best bang for your buck. I bought a 12C McLaren because it's the best bang for your buck supercar. I have a Supra which, okay, that, that, that one's expensive. I'll give you guys that one. But then I have the Civic and I have the three valve that's turned into a Coyote. All great value, best bang for your buck cars. This truck sticker was at 51 and some change. I got it for 46.5. And I just don't think I can find a better truck for that price. The Colorado Trail Boss, although cheaper, the build quality kind of reflects that. The interior is dog water. This this is real nice. I'll show you guys in a second. The Bronco was just too expensive. I mean, my Bronco payment would have probably been similar to my McLaren payment, and that just doesn't make sense to me. And this, at the end of the day, it's a GMC. I can toss it around and not cry about, you know, going off-roading in my $70,000 Bronco, which, by the way, is the cost of the fully loaded Bronco that I was looking at. It came out to like $70,000 ridiculous i will say styling wise i really do like how the broncos look but i've also heard a lot of negative things about the broncos so i'm really pleased that i went with this big shout out to my boy mark wagner he knew i was looking for something off-road capable and you know this is exactly what i was looking for he hit the nail right on the head with this one and he saved me some money in the process so guys Check out his new bar, shameless plug right here. Check out Villains Brewery if you're in the Orange County, LA area. You might even just see me there with this truck. Styling wise, I think this is a very good looking truck. I love the cut bumper. I love the red little like rescue hooks. The grill is just kind of menacing. I mean, the daytime running lights and stuff. Like when I turn it on, hopefully the camera picks it up pretty good. But the way, oh my God, the amber and then white daytime running lights is just super clean. So the AT4 is a little bit more focused towards off-road. It's not a super city vehicle. I mean, obviously in its current state, yes, you could totally drive this around the city. It's nothing like a ZR2 where it's really extremely focused for off-road, but as is right now, it's a very capable off-road vehicle as well as a very nice city, you know, daily driving truck. 
So the AT4 has like slight wide body on it. Like it looks a little thicker. Again, hopefully the camera's picking it up. The wheels, the wheels look like penises to me. They remind me of my McLaren wheels. The McLaren wheels, the stock ones have this little design too. And they, they just, they look like cock and balls. I mean, they're, they're good for now. Once we wear through these tires, I think we'll, uh, we'll switch it up, but they're good for now. They're a good learning wheel when I go off-roading and I inevitably scratch the shit out of them. It's a good learning wheel. The little side markers on the flares definitely need to be tinted at least. Just the, the orange is too bright. They, they're, I'm cool with them. I like them. It's just too bright. The Colorado has flares as well, but no lights. It's a little bit uh, disappointing. Going to the rear of the truck, we have a bed liner with, I mean, the standard size bed. I don't think they have different sizes for the Canyon. Um, that being said, we have the slow opening tailgate along with a little hidden cooler or storage area. So that's nice. They also sold it with the digital plate, which is great. I could customize this and make it say, you know, everything I wanted to say. I could make it say, you know, Drew Peacock YouTube and stuff. I haven't played around with it on the app and I know someone's saying, Drew, you're showing off your license plate. Uh, so what? Anyways, the real reason why I went with this truck over the Colorado Trail Boss was the interior. The interior on this truck is immaculate. It is 10 times better than the Trail Boss. Taking a look at the interior, we have a nice digital dash right there along with a nice big full screen. The stitching and everything in here, just a little extra detail that GMC does compared to the Chevy Colorado is just what kind of pushed me up and over the edge. Like the interior of the Colorado feels like a base model truck. This feels like a high-end vehicle along with a very capable off-road truck. Like even something as simple as the little design in the cup holder and stuff, just all this little detail right here to make it look like, I don't know, almost like a camo pattern or like almost, almost like forged carbon, which I don't think they're going for that, but it kind of looks like that. It's just that extra little detail where this truck is just a tad bit nicer. I would say way more than a tad, but it's a lot nicer than a Chevy Colorado. And I know that the Chevy Colorado is maybe like a little bit more designed for off-roading, at least the Trail Boss, but spending that kind of money on a Trail Boss and not having a skid plate or fog lights, which this one doesn't really have a skid plate, but it does have fog lights. Paying a little bit more for a nicer interior, better looks in my opinion, just that extra little detail that I look for, to me is worth it. Spending 40 plus thousand dollars on a trail boss without a skid plate and fog lights and crappy interior, not worth it to me. I'd be sitting in cloth seats right now and um, I, I would not be wanting that. Anyways, this is not the only vehicle we got though. We needed a daily for Mammy as well, so let me show you guys the second vehicle and although not a brand new car still a very nice one this right here is the second car so not as exciting and i'm not going to talk down about this car because i do like this car but it's a 2007 lexus is 250 and this will be mammy's new daily so with mammy she just wanted something to get back and forth from work she's kind of tired of having the whole sports car thing and i don't blame her i mean the subi was fun but it was ultimately just a big headache where this is gonna be fuel efficient, get her back and forth from work, and eventually when she's ready to get her next car, she'll be able to trade this in and go get that. For the price we got it for, which I think was a steal, I think it's great. It, it, it is like a super solid car, and I think it's the nicest car we could have got with the budget that she wanted to spend, and we'll see what she wants to do with it. I don't think she's gonna modify it. She might do some things to just update it, but this is, this is pretty much the daily for the daily. Since we bought the truck, this is the daily for the daily. Because we all know that truck is gonna eventually end up on some big ass wheels and tires that it's gonna get dog shit fuel economy. So we, we, we thought ahead and bought a daily for the daily. So yeah, bought two cars in one day. I've never done that before, but well, I guess we could check that off the bucket list. Anyways, I'll take you guys on a quick walk around. Um, this isn't black paint. I know it looks like black, but it's actually blue. It definitely needs a paint correction. Um, that maybe we'll make a video on that, correcting the paint on it. Maybe we'll just do a little restoration on this just to make it look like a new car again. I think that'd actually be a pretty fun video series instead of being like these other TikTokers. Oh, we're gonna transform this Lexus IS250 into a sports car or a supercar. We're not gonna do all that. Maybe I'll just give you guys a straightforward, hey, look it, you have a car, you want it to look a little bit better? This is how you could do it for an affordable price. I think that'd be a good video series. What do you guys think? Comment down below. But including, you know, a paint correction, headlight restoration, and or just getting new headlights, 
Um, we need to fix the curved wheels. You know, we got to do some maintenance on it. It definitely needs some front rotors. They are a little warped. The suspension rides really nice, but the biggest, I think, gripe that she has is she doesn't like the color. So we might end up ultimately wrapping it, but we'll see. But yeah, that honestly sparked kind of a good idea of just like, this would be a good little car to just transform from the little perfectly fine daily driver it is to just a nicer looking, cleaner, well-maintained daily driver. We're not gonna try to turn it into something that it's clearly not. But yeah, like I said, we'll do some things. I, uh, again, comment down below what you think, if that's a good idea. You know, maybe we can try it, attempting to tint the windows and stuff and not buy AutoZone tint. Like we'll buy some recommended stuff, but give it a shot, tint it ourselves. But yeah, here she is. Don't expect me to do anything crazy with this thing, but I, I, I am really liking that idea of just a nice restoration. I don't know if restoration is uh, the correct word. Maybe a tune-up would be a better word, but you guys get what I'm saying. Let's try to make it look like a newer vehicle without trying to make it a newer vehicle. Let's just make it look clean. The interior on this car is actually really mint. Usually the seats are torn up and I think they have like a sticky dash issue. This one, the only tear is right here and they actually stitched it fairly well. If they used black thread, it actually wouldn't look that bad. However, I guess white was all they had. The back seats look great. Nothing wrong back here. The interior is just really comfortable. I mean, for a 2007, I don't think you can beat this. I personally like the car. I like the paint. I think, again, for 2007, it's great. It's a great daily driver. I just know Mammy wants to update it with some things. Apple CarPlay, backup cams, tint, make it look a little cleaner. But overall, I think it was a good buy. I mean, for an 07, it ain't that bad. All we gotta do is put a nice screen right here, wire it into a backup cam, and it's pretty much like the new shit, you know? We even got little paddles. So there you have it. There's the two new cars. I guess one new truck and one used car. But two new additions to the flock. I really like the idea of like a small restoration project on this. Like I said, I don't like how everyone on TikTok right now is just trying to update their car with cheap car parts. I just want to help people maintain or make their cars still look good. Even if they are 15 plus years old. However, the truck... The truck we're going to make into an off-road monster. We'll see how crazy I go. Um, I have some inspiration from a couple of my close friends because they have some really sick off-road trucks. I'll throw in theirs right here, but um, really killer trucks. That being said, it being a new vehicle, we're not going to do anything to it for a while, but we definitely are going to go to the desert here very soon. I am just so bricked up to go. You guys have no idea. But anyways, guys. Hopefully I didn't disappoint. I know it's not exactly what you guys were expecting. I'm pretty sure nobody guessed GMC Canyon AT4. I just, I highly doubt it. Hopefully I didn't disappoint. I hope you guys are excited. We still have the Civic build to finish and the Supra motor is going in, I believe next month. I think all the parts to build my head actually arrived this week. So I'll have to double check, but we have two solid builds going down. The Mustang build is just a never ending uh, problem. So we'll just keep throwing more money at it until it starts to be able to put the power to the floor. I do have a plan for that, but I wanna knock out the Civic or the Supra first before we even touch this. So anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below and let me know if you think I made a good choice. Let me know if you're excited. Anyways, subscribe and until next video peace